On a weeknight, after a busy day at work, we find ourselves wanting something simple and quiet for dinner, and that's when we'll head back to downtown Titusville to grab a bite to eat. On this evening, we chose Cafe Chocolat. Now, parking in any downtown can be difficult, but in this parking lot, there are dedicated spots to ensure that you'll always find something close. Wait a minute. Does this place only serve breakfast? Oh, good. It looks like the bushes are just growing too big. Let's hope dinner is written on the sign as well. As we walk up to the plaza, we noticed more reserved parking on the side of the building. No shortage of parking here. Looks like patio dining is also an option, but on this chilly evening, indoor seating will be much better. And this is a good sign. Looks like they're open for business, and Chef Chocolate is here to greet us. We picked a table in the back and noticed that we sat in the right place. Jennifer sure is happy, and I'm ready to meet new friends. Cafe Chocolat has plenty to choose from, and everything looked great. But as soon as I saw the quiche Lorraine, I was sold. Eggs, bacon, and cheese baked in a pie crust? Yes, please. Jennifer had her eye on the turkey and Swiss and spinach artichoke panini. Sounds great. Because we knew we were getting some of their famous dessert and coffee after our meal, we decided to save a few bucks and calories and got water to drink. Yeah, kind of boring. We didn't wait too long for our meals to arrive, and we were ready to eat. Oh, wow! That bacon is popping through that quiche! Crunchy! And Jennifer's panini looked hot and pressed. Oh, yeah, this will be a great meal. Some fancy grape eating and a smile should be a part of every dinner. Once we finished eating, it was time to check out the dessert offered, so a trip to the front case was necessary. Check out the selection of chocolate and the cakes and brownies. Wow! As someone who has a hard time deciding, this was a nightmare. But as soon as I saw the carrot cake, it was done. Yes, I know, eat at a place like Cafe Chocolat and not get chocolate? A travesty. But Jennifer redeemed our visit and picked the caramel toffee brownie. To drink with our dessert, I picked a nice hot cup of coffee, and Jennifer decided on the Milky Way latte. Hey, Jennifer, I think you got a little something on your nose. Our dessert was fantastic, and the coffee warmed us up. After dessert was finished, it was time to leave, but not before heading into the gift shop. They stock everything from magnets showing how you walk, run, or bike the famous Max Brewer Bridge to a shirt with the Cafe Chocolat logo on it. Now you can dress as if you work at this popular cafe. Looks like something caught Jennifer's eye. Sorry, no trinkets today. As we left Cafe Chocolat, we noticed night brings a different look to downtown Titusville as the lights turn on to illuminate the walk back to your car. A great ending to a perfect dinner. So when you want to experience the allure of downtown Titusville and Cafe Chocolat, head on over and make sure you say hi to Chef Chocolate. He'll whip you up something sweet.